Hi there, welcome to the Visual Modflow Flex video training series. My name is Braden McNeil and I'm the lead software trainer here at Waterloo Hydrogeologic. In this video I'll review the process for reviewing your model. Re After translating and running your groundwater model, the interface should look something like this, with a green check mark indicating that each of the flow, transport, and secondary engines that you selected for your model have run successfully. When you proceed to the next workflow step, you'll have the option of viewing results in two main formats as charts and as maps. In this video I'll review the process for viewing your model results in chart format and we'll explore the methods for displaying data as maps in the next video. If you select the view charts workflow step you'll be able to review model calibration and time series charts. The view charts workflow step will also allow you to review your model mass balance results by clicking the mass balance and or zone budget buttons. Please note that the calculated values displayed in these charts are based on your model results and the output times specified during the model translation step. The observed values displayed in these charts are of course user-defined data, which are input at the Define Observation Wells workflow step. The View Chart step allows you to review the results of both groundwater flow and contaminant transport models, provided that the required observation data is available for both simulation types. Groundwater flow models requ require head observation data, while contaminant transport models require concentration observation data. The parameter drop-down menu allows you to select which type of data will be displayed. Select Transport to display the results of your contaminant transport models. And select Flow to display the results of your groundwater flow model. There are two types of charts which can be displayed during this workflow step, and each can be used to display the results from both flow and transport models. Under Chart Types, you can choose between Calculated versus Observed and Time Series. The Calculated versus Observed chart will display calculated and observed values within your model. A perfectly calibrated model would have an exact match between calculated and observed data, which would result in all the data points falling on this 45 degree line of best fit. Error statistics are displayed beneath this graph, which are based on the residual values between observed and calculated results. The time series chart can be used to display transient data at selected observation points. In this example, we only have observation data at one time, so only one data point is shown for each observation well. If additional transient observation data was available, it would be plotted at additional time steps. You can use the tables on the left to decide exactly which observation wells will be displayed in the calibration charts. Make your selection and then click apply to, ch to apply any changes that you've made to the chart. It's also possible to turn on observation well labels using the labels button. Finally, please note that observation that information can be displayed for individual data points by clicking on them. This will display the exact calculated and observed values used to generate the chart. You can remove this information by simply clicking the data point once again. It's also possible to export all observed versus calculated data as a comma-separated value file for post-processing. To export the data, simply click the export button above the workflow navigator provide a file name and select the export location. The CSV file will then be available for post-processing in Microsoft Excel or a text editor of your choice. Model mass balance results can also be accessed through the View Charts workflow step. Clicking on the Mass Balance or Zone Budget buttons in the View Charts step will launch a new window with mass balance charts. Please note that the Mass Balance and Zone Budget interfaces provide the same set of data charts, except that the Zone Budget results are based on user-defined zones, whereas the Mass Balance results are for the entire model domain. If I close the current interface for mass balance and show the results for the zone budget analysis, you'll notice an additional data table at the top left which displays the user-defined zones available in your model. 
The four charts loaded with the mass balance and zone budget interfaces include the time step, time series, in out, and percent discrepancy charts. The time step chart plots a bar chart of the flow into the system and the flow out of the selected system zone through the individual sources and sinks for selected output times. The time series chart plots the temporal flows in and out of the selected zone through individual data sources and sinks. The in out chart plots the temporal change in flow mass balance for the selected zone and the percent discrepancy chart plots the temporal changes in the flow mass balance for the selected zone expressed as a percentage of the total flow in the zone. If you've run a transient model, some charts will allow you to, res to review results at each output time using the stress period and time step buttons shown in the toolbar for the selected graph. A number of easy to use tools are available in the toolbar for each graph allowing you to update graph properties, save, print, zoom, select data, or import and export data. To update graph properties, click the Properties button shown here, and a simple interface window will load, allowing you to customize the graph axes, titles, legend, legends, etc. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Visual ModFlow Flex training videos. The next video in the series will focus on visualizing model results in 2D and 3D. For additional training resources, including user manuals and free tutorials, please visit the Visual ModFlow Flex support page on our website. A link is provided in the video description.